You have one message. Message one. My name is Melissa Smitty. I live at 1202 West I Street. Phone number 423. Yeah, okay, yeah, I remember. That's where I saw There's you. There's an old man wandering around up there. Well, I don't know. That's my better half. He's checking <laughs> his taters out to make sure they didn't get frostbit. <laughs> they even how growed over How about that? Well, it's good to see you. Are you we owned. Yeah, we okay. probably are. Right. Okay, I believe you called us regarding the water problem you got. Well, look. Water I'm the, problem. Okay, now I'm not the complete solution to that, but I bought what I could to help your water problem. Here's your, here's your water. Was Thank that you. the kind of water problem you were having? No. Well, tell no. us about it. Uh, we've had floods for the past two days of last week. The last one was Thursday the 5th. This whole thing right here was flooded from that uh, Big water pipe over there. It came up in the dog lot. Oh, no, there's a water pipe for it. come here. That's the reason I wondered if you could see it better here or from the deck. Okay, well, then I don't know where they will look and see. See, just... right over there. It comes this way and okay. goes to the left. Right. And then uh, this house over here, it comes right. off the mountain down. Right, so the water is coming from this direction, yeah. is that correct? It floods uh, the dog lot, it moved the uh, dog house. It got the whole side. Right. It got up in the strawberries. All right, well, let me ask you something. When, when it comes, out, it just comes out of the pipe onto the ground. Yeah, right. there was so much water the other day, it was shooting up in the air. Okay, so it's not going anywhere particular, oh, they're just diverting it into coming, this area. Yeah, it's coming this way, right. and he'll eventually, if you give it enough time, soak in the ground and then go around the trail. Right. It's okay. what I was trying to tell you. Okay. Now, the front of that trailer looks like there's a swimming pool. When it rains like it right. did last week, Looks like there's a swimming pool in front of that well, trailer. Let me, let me ask you, if that pipe were not uh, funneling water in here, would you have that problem? Maybe not as bad. Okay. I think, see, when this man over here bought this piece of property, he stopped up the ditch that took the water in recent years down. He, huh. he did away with that, and when that happened, we had problem out of that. Wow. It comes in on here. Okay. It's what I was trying to tell them. Okay. Right. I called the administrator, I called the mayor, and I couldn't get neither one of them to call me back. Okay, well, let me ask you, have you had any prior conversation with the mayor regarding this situation? When he went in the office four years ago, he told Willie he would help him with the water problem. He okay, said, now that was, that was that before or after he was elected? That was before he went in the office. Okay, all right, so while he was campaigning. Yeah. He, he told you he, that he would get the city to help you yeah. with this water problem. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now, I believe he's been in office, what now, two years? Three, three years? He's ready to run again, ain't three, he? Three years. Okay. Now, has he made any effort to help you with no. your water problem? No. He's, the other day, when the water was shooting up in there, I wanted him to knock on my door till he could see what was going on and wouldn't have to take nobody's word for it. Right. Him and the administrator, and right. neither one of them would contact me. They didn't want anything to do with me. Right. So they they will not talk with uh -uh. you? Is that what you're no. saying? No. They won't meet us on no level, either right. one of them. All right. Do you reckon since the new election is coming up this fall that they might want to start talking to you right before the election? Well, it, well, that would be good, but we'll see. Now, I'm assuming you didn't notice my sign in the yard 
And when you go to leave, you look at that. Okay. Because that there just won't be none of that this time. Right. And when he before he went in the office, he said he would work with Willie on the water problem. Mm -hmm. There's been nothing. Right. Well, let me ask you something. You called us. Is there any particular reason why you called uh, uh, myself and Ronnie? We need somebody to help us. You need to wake up and pay attention to what you do with your vote, who promises you what, mm -hmm. when they get ready to go in office. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I brought this out. Mm -hmm. Because the water was shooting up the other day. I called him, and all I wanted the mayor to do was knock on the door. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't do it. Neither one of them would. Well, I, I also assume that you feel like maybe we have some experience with broken promises. Okay, I was in, I didn't know if you did or not, but I was in hopes you did, or you could tell me some place to go to, but I'm assuming UG TV is on the internet. When you put this on the internet, there's going to be other groups pick up on this right. that deal with water problems. Right, right. Well, like I say, as I see it, probably a great deal of your problem is the fact that the city has channeled water down in this area and made no uh, arrangements to disperse it or get rid okay. of it. Okay, that's exactly right. Right, okay. Well, I'm not uh, an expert in the drainage and that sort of thing, but I certainly can sympathize with your problem. Thank you. Because we have an awful lot of uh, uh, precipitation up here. We've yeah. had an awful lot this spring. and. Uh, so uh, I guess, you know, as far as what we do, we, we plan on airing this segment That's on our program. That's what I want you to do. Okay? I want you and, to. And uh, we want to let people know that you have to be careful about taking politicians' promises uh -huh. uh, when they're running for election. Right. Or even after they have been elected. Okay. And uh, so uh, what do you think... Uh, uh, ought to be the repercussions from this sort of thing for the to Americans. Keep the, uh, to keep the water all fast? Yes. I think he needs to get his workers in here to make a ditch, to put the water back down through there the way it was in the past, yes. to get that water out yes. of here. If he doesn't take care of it, what do you think should be the repercussions as far as uh, to the mayor? What do you think? I don't think there's any because he showed me he's not willing to work with us well, on anything. Well, you think he ought to go back in office? No. Okay. And are you going to help him again this year? No. <laughs> you got a good-looking garden going here. I Thank just you. wonder, have you ever thought about uh, raising rice or water lilies? <laughs> no, I've got day lilies over there, and they don't like okay. a water lot. How about water. bullfrogs? No, they're down that way somewhere. Okay. We can hear right. them. Well, I was just trying to offer you some solution, because I really don't think, you know, uh, that all you're going to ever get any from this is probably some more promises. Well, no, there won't be no more promises, no. I'm looking for somebody that's willing to step out and help us. I don't want nobody walking up in my face and promise me anything. Right. I'm in right. the need for some help regardless right. of where it comes from. And I'm sure there's organizations out there. Well, you that know will one of the in. things that has gotten me in trouble over the years, the big thing opening your mouth. No, well that too. <laughs> there's a sign in the yard. I'm sure you saw it when you I want that to go with this. We're getting so one. what does the sign mean? Well this time when the election comes around the individual needs to make their own mind up without any persuasion, anything. You vote for who you want to. Well, do you think, let me ask something. I've always been told, and I'm older than you now, uh, that a whole lot you can pretty well judge what a person is going to do in the future okay. by what he has done okay. in the past. That's true. I took the man for his word. And uh, when I called that day, he wasn't in. And then Willie called back, he'd stepped out. So that tells me a lot. Uh, when you're elected to office, that's an important position because you're representing people that supported you and trusted you with that vote. Right. And then this, no. no. Right. That's the purpose of the sign. Right, exactly. Well, look, we appreciate your problem. And I'm a little bit familiar with this area here because uh, okay. I've had some dealings with your neighbor here. Okay. And I've been.
Oh, TV.